Hey guys, so I'm at my friend Esther's right now and Brandon and I came here because she made us lunch and we didn't know how long we'd be here so I actually <laughs> I brought the rest of my stuff with me so I could have it up for you guys tonight, my time I'm in her room right now and she has an amazing view it's so beautiful so a viewer yesterday left a comment saying that there is a website called glambot.com where you can sell used makeup so there are certain restrictions that apply like the website will not buy drugstore brands and you can't sell used stuff that have applicators like eyeliners or um, like lip glosses if you are trying to sell eyeliners or lip glosses they have to be brand new and on top of that if you are in the US you can um, sell you need a minimum of 20 items to send over to them and then they'll offer you um, like a rate and then you can either accept what they offer or um, you can request that they send it back to you now because I am in Korea the rules are a little bit different I have to actually s um, send over 30 items if I want to sell it like I can't just you know sell this one powder like I need 30 um, of like brand name or higher end beauty items and the other requirement is there has to be at least 50% of the product left. I'm just kind of sharing the things that I remember off the top of my head from the website. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you guys are interested in selling your own things or if you just want to check out the website. So let's see if we can get through this quickly. I'm definitely going to try to sell this. I also want to try to sell this MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation because it's really like new. I guess my concern is I don't think I have 20 products that I can sell because I realize like I have lots of little items and a lot of them are Korean brands. So I can't, they don't take Korean brands. The website also has a list of um, beauty brands that they will accept. And if it's not on there, I mean, you're basically sending it to them for nothing. Um, yeah, for nothing. So I have Max Strobe Cream here and I really wanted to like this, but my complexion isn't as nice um, to use this on its own. And if I did, I would look like a disco ball. But if I use this with my regular foundation, it doesn't really do much. So I'm going to try to sell this. I have this Fresh Sugar Passion Tinted Lip Treatment. I've had this for a while. It's not like a lipstick. It's definitely a tint. But I don't like this color on my lips. It makes me, it kind of ages me. And I would much rather have a regular balm and then put another color on top. And I have not missed this, so this is going. I also have a Hurrah Earl Grey Lip Balm. This is a raw, what is it? Raw cold press um, clean product. Yeah, it smells good, but after using it for a while, it's not a scent that I want on my lips. I feel like if I had a candle that smelled like this, it would be nice, but yeah, it's not. I used to put this on before bed and then I just got kind of sick of it, so. I will be tossing that. I have two eye pencils, the Tarte Smolder Eyes. I have the original one, and I also have the Skinny Smolder Eyes. And the skinny one I have in the color Slate, and the brown one I have in just the color Brown. I did like these two for a time. I don't wear like the crazier wings like I used to, it's it's a little bit too thick and also this product I think it's expired by now this one um, It smudges a little bit more than the original one, but this one too. It, it's a pretty old product and yeah, I just haven't been Reaching for that and I have not missed it. I Have this mascara from Josie Marin. Is it Josie Moran or Josie Marin? This is the black Argan Black Oil Mascara and I got this as a deluxe sample at Sephora and I really wanted to like this especially because you know I'm transitioning more into natural beauty or greener beauty products and I like the idea of it but unfortunately it doesn't hold my curl and it kind of smudges underneath and uh, if you look at the wand it's kind of bigger than the my normal mascara wand I just don't think I have enough lashes for it so unfortunately I'm gonna chuck this. 
I have an Etude House bling bling eye stick and this guy is meant to it's like a shimmery highlighter stick that you wear in the inner corners of your eyes it's very very pretty but I also feel like um, I kind of bought this because I kind of fell into the makeup trends I was like interested in makeup trends in Korea and so I got it but I did use it a bit in the summertime but it's not something that's a part of my everyday makeup and I feel like just more and more I'm kind of developing a more signature look and this is not part of it so I'm tossing that I have some Korean eyeshadows that I could do without see and these are all eyeshadows that I liked when I was using them okay so I have Let's start with two from Innisfree. So this one is called Kozohan Almond, which is like toasted almond. And it's a nice like matte brown color. Well, actually it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Let me see if I can swatch it. And the color payoff isn't like, it's not super amazing or pigmented, but it's not terrible. And then here is the other one. And this is in um, Puxin Puxin Cashmere. So that's kind of like cushy cashmere. And it is a very, very neutral color. It's this one right here. And it's alright. <laughs> I actually really like Bobbi Brown's Toast a lot more. And it's pretty similar to this, and I would much rather use that. So, and then I have. These two eyeliners that were gifted to me, and I really like them for the time being. These are the Bia eyeshadows, and they're very, very shimmery. Again, not really into the shimmery eyeshadows anymore. So, let me... And I have talked about these in... I have talked about these eyeshadows in my beauty review videos, I think in the summertime, maybe August or so, and I've kind of graduated from them. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's see. Um, this is Bobbi Brown's Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks, and this is in the color Maui. Really pretty. I like this color for my cheeks, and I really like that it was a two-in-one product, but when I was using this for my lips, I found that it um, kind of dries it out. I have a cream blush right now from Honest Beauty that I kind of like a little bit more than this. It's a little bit more like everyday-ish, and I don't know, I feel like if I can try to sell this on that website, I'm going to do that. Otherwise, I will toss it. I have two um, Stila lip glosses, and it's the ones with the brushes like that. And I actually really, really enjoyed these when I was using them. They're just super old and really, really gross and grimy. But again, I'm just not into the very glossy lips. And so I've been hanging on to these for a while because I like the colors, but I am honestly not going to use them. I have this Bobbi Brown lipstick. It's in the color beige. And I've seriously used this maybe once or twice. And it's it's definitely one of Bobbi Brown's more popular colors. And honestly for me guys, it's the formula. It settles into the lines and it makes my lips look really, really dry and chapped. And because I am someone that deals with um, chap lips, I can't just swipe it on. Like my friend Gail, she doesn't even carry chapstick around. She uses a, a nude lipstick from MAC and she just like swipes it on and her lips always look perfect. I could never do that. I would have to exfoliate my lips, have it moisturized, have it be perfect, and then put on lipstick. And if I had her lips, I think this would be a great color because it's a nice color on my skin tone, but just the formula doesn't work with me. I'm going to try to sell that. The website didn't say anything about not being able to resell used lipstick. I know that, um, I think the products go through some sort of process after this company buys the used makeup. And I think they do something to like make it hygienic for people to you know, buy from them. Um, here is another Korean beauty products. Okay, 
there's one big lesson that I learned from me doing these this de stashing. Um, I need to stop buying Korean beauty products. I feel like I feel like I am making myself like them, and I just keep giving them new tries because I'm in Korea and because K beauty is trending everywhere, and because there are beauty stores everywhere. It's like easy to like walk by and like want to stop by out of curiosity and then pick up like their best selling items. This was one of them. I fell for it because they were doing this um, big promotion on like Innisfree Real Fit lipstick. And I'm like, yeah, this is so my color. Look how perfectly nude this is. And the color is really pretty. And it's supposed to like, you know, have like a cashmere fit. It says a lipstick that instantly covers your lips with a clear color and without a heavy feeling. No, this makes my lips look disgustingly chapped. And I don't like it, but, but it does smell good. It kind of smells like candy, like fruity candy. So you guys must be wondering, what lipstick does work on you? Well, maybe that'll be a separate video because I don't ha have it in here, obviously. But um, here's another one. This is another Korean lipstick. Um, this is Espoir's Love Sick. I loved this color this past summer. But again, it did this weird dry. It like dried on my lips in a way that I didn't like and it just felt uncomfortable. So I don't think I will miss that lipstick. I have this Estee Lauder Melting Sun Liqueur lip gloss and it's this really crazy fun like corally peach but again it's just not a it's not my kind of color and I've maybe worn this twice since I've had it that's gonna go I have had this naked palette for like I want to say at least five years now and I barely made a dent in it. And the only color that I absolutely love is this one. It's the it's the half baked. That's what that's like one of my go tos. But I also I haven't missed this palette that much since it's been away. Like I didn't find myself thinking about it. I think I only wanted to keep it because this is my very first eye palette and the colors are nice but not realistic for my life. But the other color that I liked when I used to um draw my wing with eyeshadow is Dark Horse. And Dark Horse is this one right here. But I liked it so much and I don't want to carry around the whole palette just for that color. So I actually bought a single eyeshadow in Dark Horse. So what I think I'll do is I'll hold on to this and maybe it's time to say goodbye to this. I have a Nivea lip butter and coconut and I got for free at a Spartan race event and it's okay. I'm not gonna miss this. I mean, whatever. I'm gonna toss that. I have a Clinique chubby stick in Super Strawberry. I like this for a bit too, but it's nothing special. I mean, it's a little bit of a tint. I don't like hate it, but I'm not crazy about it, so I'm okay to say bye. And I have a MAC eyebrow pencil in Spiked. And it's just one of those like retractable ones. And I don't want to use anything for my eyebrows again after um, I found my Shoe Mira Heart Formula. So yeah, goodbye to that. I have a Gel Presto Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner from Clio. This is nothing special. I have not missed this at all. Um, there are times when I feel like this stays okay, and then there are times when I need this to stay okay, but it like smudges everywhere. So this product has been very, very um, unreliable for me, and I'm going to toss it. Oh, and this is in the color Dark Chocolate. I know this is one of their best sellers too, but I'm telling you, Korean makeup and me, we are not made for each other. I have an Etude House eyeshadow in the color BR402 and this is syrup bagel takeout like takeout coffee minus the syrup I like this too for the time being I think I was into like really shimmery shadows this summer or something um, I don't know guys I like the color but uh, to be honest, I just haven't missed it since it hasn't been in my capsule. 
I guess if I haven't missed it, I should just say goodbye to it. And again, these are so cheap. I think I'm just better off chucking it and then buying it again if I miss it that much because I don't know. I feel like seeing it all the time and not using it is something that bugs me. All right, so we're going to quickly go through brushes. To be honest, I have not missed any of these brushes that have not been in my capsule. And I actually like this brush too. This is the Expert Face Brush. I haven't missed it, but I do like this brush. What do I do with this? Maybe I'll hold on to it for one more month. Um, this is a uh, professional easy blending shadow brush from Misha, the Korean brand. Have not missed this brush. I love my uh, Sigma blending brush, the one that's currently in my capsule, so I'm gonna chuck that. These two brushes are from, from the Korean brand, Abba Mart. And I bought these because they were super affordable. They were like less than $4. And it was before I had the Sigma blending brush, I believe. And I wanted to get it to kind of compare. And honestly, again, I love my Sigma. Have not missed these two, so they can go. I used to like this brush. This is the setting brush, and I liked it for my highlighter up here. I don't have any other brush that's like this, so I wonder if I should just hold on to it. Okay, maybe maybe I'll just revisit these two, two in a later month. That's not a bad idea, right? I bought this um, comparable beauty blender from Korea. It was really ridiculously cheap, but this is the, the worst sponge ever invented. First of all, it is so dense. I don't think you guys understand how like hard I'm squeezing this right now. Now imagine trying to wash this. Like I used the tiniest bit of soap and I was, I felt like I was gonna get arthritis from just squeezing it so much to get all the soap out. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's still a product in here. Like who in the world has time to use a product like this that is such a pain to clean? So this wasn't even worth making a video on. I was going to compare this um, with the Beauty Blender, but there's no comparison. And this is also from the brand Abba Mart, and it's one of their bestseller items. I'm really questioning that brand after seeing this. I have a cat eyeliner brush from Sephora. And uh, when I am in the mood to draw a wing with just eyeshadow for a softer look, I do really like this pencil, but it's not something that I need all the time, so maybe I'll just store it away for the future. And this brush too. This is a fantastic brush. This is the Shiseido foundation brush. The only reason that it's in here is because I just love my beauty blender. And I think if I didn't have the beauty blender, I'd really like this brush. But at the moment, nothing can take me away from my beauty blender. So I think I might try to give this away or sell it. I have a little What's Up uh, highlighter from Benefit. And there's a lot of product left, but actually this thing is pretty old. I feel like I've had this for at least two years and I keep thinking I'll use it, but I don't. So I think it's time to toss it. <sighs> I feel like for me, I'm like looking at all these products and a part of me, I just feel heartbroken because it's such a waste and it's reminding me of um, how excessive I can be when it comes to buying beauty products. But at the same time, I am learning how to just like make a clean break. Right, so I kind of almost have to be a little bit ruthless. Otherwise, this will just stay in my closet and then every time I go into my closet, I'm just gonna feel horrible for not using these products every day. I have a free mirror that I got from Vanillaco. I don't need this. I have an old chapstick and who knows how long old this is. <laughs> and I stopped using the chapstick brand because I wanted to uh, move towards greener products and avoid stuff with petroleum jelly or petrolatum, which this contains. Alright guys, all the stuff I've been holding on to, the tin's empty. Now the last thing I'm going to do before uh, this video is over is share with you some things that I've yet to try. Alright, um, I have a Claudely, is that how you say this? Hand and nail cream. Um, I have a ton of hand creams to use right now. I was curious about this and I got this as a gift. Have not used it yet, so I will check that out. I also have a Fido um, Ultra Damage Brittle and Dry Hair Mask. So currently I've been using the shampoo bars and the apple cider vinegar rinse and I've been trying to 
get rid of any of the buildup from like traditional shampoos, you know, that I've used my entire life. So I don't know that I want to add all this product back onto my hair. So I will give this away. I have a bunch of Josie Moran or Josie Marin products that I need to look into and I this is a set this came as a set so I'll just go through this really quickly I have the Argan daily moisturizer SPF 47 I actually heard great things about this so I want to try that out I have the pure Argan milk intensive hydrating treatment and lastly the 100% pure Argan oil I've just been so in love with my rosehip seed oil that I haven't even thought about going and being in a rush to try this but I eventually want to and then I have um, these little Honest Beauty skincare samples. This is their Younger Face Deep Hydration Cream. Refreshingly Clean Gel Cleanser. And the Beyond Protected Sheer Tint Daily Beauty Fluid. I've heard reviews about this and I've also kind of tested it on my skin. And it's supposed to be like a moisturizing fluid with a tiny bit of color. Kind of like a... Very, very sheer tinted moisturizer. Actually, when you first squeeze it out, it looks like there might be color, but as I'm blending it out, it is pretty sheer. Also a gift, I got the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Concealer in Warm Beige. Have any of you guys used this? I have never even heard of this product, but I think it's an under eye concealer. And I think it's supposed to be super moisturizing because it is a serum. Let me know if you tried this product and you love it. All right guys, two more items, woohoo! Another gift I received is the Shiseido Instant Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I have not even dipped into this at all because I've been using the hemp seed oil, but I do want to test this out to see how it is for removing waterproof mascara. And lastly, I have Claude Poe's Radiant Fluid Foundation that I also got as a gift. I looked up the retail price for this, you guys, and this bottle of foundation is like about $130. So I'm hoping it's gonna be magical on my face. Oh, it's kind of watery. The texture is very, um, yeah, it spreads nicely. It looks like it would be like a medium kind of coverage and I can also see that if you use a bit too much, it can look cakey. I'll let you know how that goes. I'm probably not going to use this anytime soon just because I already have open foundations and tinted moisturizers in my current capsule right now. So, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this entire thing and just being with me during this process. Let me know what your struggles are with decluttering and let me know if you're going to check out that website where you can sell um, your used or unused makeup. I will see you guys tomorrow at my normal spot, which will be at my desk as I'm getting ready for the day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.